how many people who labor in the same musical vineyard in which you toil, how many are protest singers? That is, people who use their music and use the songs to protest the uh, social state in which we live today, the matter of war, the matter of crime, or whatever it might be. Um, how many? Yes. Are there many who yeah. do? Yeah, well, I, I think there's about uh, 136. You say about 136? Yeah. Or do you mean exactly 136? Uh, it's either 136 or 142. <laughs> from a threshold of complete ignorance about the field in which you work, so bear with me. Uh, but lately, in one of the national magazines, I read something about uh, the protest singers. And uh, yes. uh, could you name a few of them for me? Uh, the protest? Mm -hmm. um, you just want singers? Yeah, give me their names. Uh, who are they? Uh, I was thought, uh, well, I was thought, uh... How about Barry McGuire? Is he one? No. What is he? He would be, uh... He would be sort of like a, a mixture of country and western, and, uh... uh 17th century minstrel music. You know, I always think more of somebody like Robert Goulet is a protest singer, you know. Robert Put Goulet. On, no. Huh? No, I'm really not either. I mean, all the attention has been given to everybody that looks, you know, that has long hair. That's a protest singer, but uh, the truth of the matter is really that the protest singers really are, you know, Edie Gourmet and, and uh, Robert What's Goulet and Steve Lord. Well, it's very obvious, you know, if. If uh, if you go beyond the word of just protest, what does the word protest mean to you? To me, it means uh, uh, singing though uh, you don't really want to sing. It means what? It means singing against your wishes to sing. Is that do you sing against your wishes? To no, sing? no. Well, uh, do you sing protest songs? No. What do you sing? No, I sing uh, all love songs. Uh, is it true that you have changed your name, and if so, uh, what was your real name? My real name was Knezevich, <laughs> and uh, I changed it to uh, you know, to avoid obvious uh, relatives that come up to you in different parts of the country, and uh, want tickets to the concerts and <laughs> and stuff like that, huh? Knezevich, yes. That's the first and the last. That was the first name. 